I have a question for you. What is PGIS? What about PPGIS or CoPPGIS? Anyone? Does anyone know? It's okay, don't worry. By the end of this talk, you will all know what these things are. Looking at these acronyms, you may notice they all include the letters G, I, and S. That is because they all describe GIS processes. GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems, which is basically some sort of digital way to record spatial information. Maps with data on your computer, that's GIS. Up until recently, GIS was a pretty industry-specialized term and process. Ecologists, urban planners, geologists, and other disciplines have all used GIS data and software for a long time. But now, with things like Google Earth and GPS on our phones, the concept of digitized spatial data has become ubiquitous. So you may not know this, but I'm a designer, and a lot of designers like myself are curious about how this spatial data can help design. To give an example, GIS data may be used by a, to design a city. A city planner would use GIS to figure out how spaces in the city are used and how to design them better. They may also use them in a community engagement meeting to portray information and explain decisions. But an interesting shift in mapping is taking place. Due to the ubiquity of GIS software, where previously it was industry experts who create maps, now more than ever, the public is involved. So for a second, let's move back to the terms. PGIS stands for participatory GIS. This is where a community themselves will be involved in mapping their own neighborhood. This is important because local people can provide information that is impossible to get from other sources. So after that, we have PPGIS. That's basically PGIS, but we add another P at the beginning. That P stands for public. So it's public participatory GIS. PBGIS is used as a way for governments to generate information rather than communities mapping their own space. PPGIS is often an online-based map survey. Does that make sense? Okay, finally we have CoPPGIS. CoPPGIS is the one I am most excited about because it is participatory, but it involves collaboration. Instead of each person giving over their data, groups talk about their contributions and build consensus. Using new technologies and participatory research methods, group can, groups can make decisions, reflect on feedback, and modify their ideas. I am using CoPPGIS in my doctoral research to work with teachers and children to learn about learning environments and figure out how to design better schools.